who brought the Zantac. We're heading out to find some food, cause old folks got to eat. And we're looking to find something new. No more roast beef and liver, hot dogs and Irish stew. Old folks, try something new. Yes, old folks, try something new. Welcome, everyone, to another uh, food extravaganza. Well, Chester's a bit under the weather, and so I had to send my stunt double out to go get some food. And, uh, so he headed to a little place, uh, a little food truck called the TKO Food Truck. Right now, she's parked at the Homes Depot in Canal River. And it's basically, uh, it's called the Tasty Kitchen Outlet. And, uh, oh, it has all sorts of goodies in there. Oh, I'll tell you, she's something good, you. Yeah, and the old stunt double there, well, you know, he can eat a lot, so you gotta be prepared there to give him lots of money. And there he is walking to the truck with a camera. Look at the shadow he's casting. He's got a head. He can orbit satellites around a great big toque on him there. But anyway, he's a decent lad. And there it is, the tasty kitchen outlet there, the TKO. Technical knockout. And it's a lovely, lovely truck there. And got lots of trees. Got burgers and... Bison burgers and chicken and oh, we got all sorts of things. And of course, he's got to get a donair. Now, this is a great donair. Just reminds me of being at the Four Corners in Halifax and at the King Donair. Look at that. Oh, and then he had a burger too. Look at that pig. Beautiful couple of cheeses, crispy. Look at that design of that. Oh, just in our food truck. Oh, look at that. Look at the head on that thing. He could eat that in one bite, and even though it's huge. Oh, and the donair meat's all homemade, and it's about a quarter inch thick. Beautiful, beautiful. Tomatoes, onions, all sorts of stuff, and there's the burger. Well, yeah, you could probably inhale that in one bite, too. Look at the size of that guy. Uh, uh, but anyway, it's a lovely burger, and handmade. Everything's homemade burgers, and, and uh, no processed cheese, all real cheese, and nice fresh veggies, and a beautiful bun. Look at that on his lip. Get that off your lip. There you go. Change your messy... Anyway, I was out for the day and had a good time there and eating on my dime, of course, because I'm a little out of the weather, under the weather here at the home. Uh, but it was good, and uh, so I'd highly rate the food truck. It's really, really good. And a lot of selection and uh, very tasty food there, according to him. And uh, I believe him. There's a nice shot of the close-up of the donair meat, all homemade. And look how thick that is. You don't get her that thick. They usually shave her with a, with a razor to get her off. But this guy, she's carved in there nice and... Oh, with that sweet sauce, and oh, just like being in Halifax again. And the burger, very good, very tasty. Yeah, you don't get many homemade burgers. And the fries are all homemade, hand-cut, and skin on, and oh, a beautiful. Really good spot, you guys. Really, and there's some, well, there's some cedar planks right beside the truck, and uh, lots of selection, a few places to sit, and a beautiful warm day on Vancouver Island. How could anything be better? Anyway... He brought home, uh, back to the home, a little piece, and I gave it to Monty. And Anyway, I'm going to give her a solid 9 out of 10. It's a good food truck, and I say everyone should go take a look at that at Home Depot and, and fill up because the quality of the food's great. Even Monty, Monty liked it too. Yeah, well, he eats everything, but yeah, no, great place. Enjoy it. Go there. Who brought the Zantac? 